Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're gonna to be adding books to my TBR from my book screenshot album. <laughs> Excuse the camera angle if it looks kind of weird or the video quality is different. I'm filming on my iPad so I can screen record on my phone. Um, so yes, um, I know that I'm not alone in this but I take a lot of screenshots of books and book recommendations from people when I watch stuff, when I'm on social media, cause everything, all my platforms, oh, gotta turn off my ringer. <laughs> um, all my book platforms, all my social media platforms are book related. And so whenever I find a book that sounds interesting to me, I would take a screenshot of it and then put it in an album on my photos app. And so this is basically just gonna be a video of me looking through all these screenshots cause they're like kinda like a long time in the making and then looking them up and seeing what they're about and then putting them on lists or looking them up on Amazon because I also have lit I'm a big list girl okay I have lists on like everything I have lists on my Kindle lists on Amazon lists on Libby lists on any play lists on every platform I love making lists and so I have a list of things on Amazon for like tropes categories just simple Kindle limited and so Whenever I'm interested in a book, I will probably add it to my KU list if it's on KU. If it's not on KU, I'll put it in my book buy list. And so we're gonna see what these books are about and then you're gonna come along with me while I look them up. Um, we'll see if I get to all of them. There's like 75 pictures on this list. <laughs> and yes, there's gonna be some of my friends, their faces are gonna be in here. I'm sorry if I took a screenshot of your face in a poor moment. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I didn't I didn't mean for that to happen. So let's get to screen recording here. Okay, so this is my list. Um, ooh, don't let the phone fall, but um, yeah, we're gonna go through it. So this first one here is from TikTok um, and it's from Chronically Brianna. Um, she recommended some books that have disability wrap in them. And so this one is a YA romance with cerebral palsy wrap. This one's called You, Me, and Our Heartstrings. So let me look this one up and see. Some books on here, I don't even like look at the summary. I just add them to lists. So that's probably what I'm gonna do for the majority of these, just because it takes a while. And so if, I, if it has like a trope listed, like on this TikTok video, it says uh, YA romance with cerebral palsy wrap. Immediately add to my disability rec or disability TBR shelf on Amazon. So. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, it's not on KU, but that's okay. We're gonna be adding it to my other list. Next is, oh, sorry for the notifications. <laughs> um, next is Lily Blake's Best Mistake from that same TikTok. And this is a romance with ADHD rep. So um, immediately gonna be adding that. Oh, this releases, yeah, September 6th, so. Um, I was wondering why there weren't any ratings. I was like, oh, it's not out yet. Hi guys, um, this is Editing Avery, and looking back and editing everything, my screen recording for my phone completely messed up at some points, and so some points in this video, it's just going to be a screenshot, the exact screenshot, me just inserting the picture in the video for you instead of the screen recording I did because the screen recording did mess up. Um, I think like halfway through the video, it gets fixed or something. I don't know what was going on with my phone. I am incredibly sorry. So if you see me like in the video, zooming in on an image or zooming in in the video, and it's not doing that in the quote unquote screen recording, it's because it's not a screen recording. It's actually the screenshot itself because the screen recording was not working. Okay, I am so sorry, but here you go. <laughs> Next is, how do you say this? Miller Millier by Poppy Reese. This looks like an alien romance. I do have an alien romance shelf on Amazon too. Um, and I think Poppy Reese is on KU because um, I almost read her like Krampus, was it Krampus Christmas book? I don't know. This is the first book in a alien romance series. It says, Lucia hijacks a stolen cargo ship only to find she's not alone. A giant beastly alien slave with no memory of his past is now her newest acquisition. She has no idea what to do with him. Start together for the foreseeable future on their journey back to their home planet. Lucia struggles with the decision to keep him close or risk letting him fall behind enemy lines. Okay, let's add this to my KU list because it's on KU and we're gonna be adding it to my alien romance list. Next is, I think I screenshot both of these. Um, this was on a post on Instagram. Um, so I've never heard of Quiver and Quill. But uh, the other one, I'm not gonna look up Little Slice of Hell because um, I already know that I have that on 
any play to listen to. That one's like a monster romance series where I think like a bartender since sets up people like monster creatures. Okay, Quiver and Quill is on Kindle Unlimited. Okay, so this is like a school setting with vampires and orcs and minotaurs and fairies. And this is about the human that goes to the school who sticks out like a sore thumb. Oh, this is an enemies to lovers monster romance. Oh, it's told in second person where you step into the story as the main character. I've never read one of those books. I've only read like fan fictions about those, but I will take it. Next is this review that I saw on an Instagram story. This is Annie Keeper. I've never heard of this author before, um, but let's go at it. A lizard boy, Grim is 10 feet tall with the equipment to match it. <laughs> oh, he's a sweet hero. I love sweet heroes that are like monsters and aliens. Yes, okay, I'm adding this to Oh, it's book number nine in a series though. I hope that's okay. I may go look at book one later on. Next one, okay, so sometimes on TikTok, they put like the book in like the comment section. And so this one was that. Um, this one is A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica. I can't remember why I took a screenshot of this. The top says, this man really put a purity ring on a chain and wears it around his neck. Oh, I think this is the one where like the heroine has a purity ring and then he ends up doing stuff with her and so she's not pure anymore and so he steals her purity ring um and now wears it around a chain on his neck i think that's what that is so let's look this up this one's on ku and it looks like it's like a a prep school novel i don't know if this is high school is it high school that might be a dick for me it's an it says it's a new adult romance so i'm just gonna add it to my ku um and then look into it whenever i'm in the mood for a new adult book and if it's high school i might not pick it up i don't know oh we have samantha she did some monster romance wrecks and the one that i specifically wanted to look into was this one down here because <laughs> i've looked at i've known all these ones um and so we're gonna look at this one this one's called big feels i don't think it's on amazon anymore samantha how do you read this book i think it's an anthology dang that cover looks so good Samantha, you gotta help a girl out. Where do I get that book? Okay, so this one in KU, this one's To Bleed a Crystal Bloom. And I took a screenshot of this because it's a freaking Rapunzel retelling, okay? I love Rapunzel retellings. Um, like that was like my main retelling that I loved when I specifically read young adult books is I wanted all of the Rapunzel retellings. So we'll see if this is YA. If it's YA, I still might read it um but i'm hoping that it's not okay so this is for fans of sarah j mass jennifer R and jennifer l armentrout so it might like toe the new adult line possibly it's a 19 year old i could be adding it to my fantasy romance shelf and my ku shelf oh next is cheyenne <laughs> sorry cheyenne i'll i'll do this <laughs> i know when people like i think it's funny like my face is probably on people's phones too and so I'm probably like, watch you have like funny faces of me on your screen. So, um, Cheyenne, I'll be nice and s <laughs> I don't know if you don't like the picture, but regardless, I'll just zoom in on the book instead. So I know that she loves this book and this is, I've never read a Julie Ann, but she loves this book and I know it has disability rep in it. So that's why I am going to be adding it to my disability rep shelf. And she talks so much about this book, so I just gotta read it. This is the next Sam Nos Costa book. I never know how to say her name. And so I saw this on Samantha's um, story, so I'm probably just gonna add it to my monster shelf, um, even though I don't think that it's out yet, but I'm still gonna add it to my shelf. I just do that with like books that haven't come out yet. It's not on Amazon yet. Okay, Samantha, what is it with you? <laughs> the ones I take of you. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, this isn't on Amazon yet. I'm gonna keep this one in this shelf for later whenever it comes out. But this is like the next uh, book by Sam Nos Costa, and I've never read one of her books, but this one looks good, obviously. Oh, this one. Okay, I saw it on I saw it on TikTok, obviously from the screenshot, and I know that Zay from Really Witty Reads has read this one and loved it, and I think Sam from Sam Reads Little either has read this one or, is, or, or hasn't read it yet but she owns the book like she got it like look at this cover can you not say you're in love with it oh it's a single dad romance too sign me up immediately 
Immediately, immediately. Okay, so this is a TikToker that I love. She like dances while she gives book recs. I love it. Um, her name is Indie Romance Bishes. <laughs> um, I think there was like a uh, someone asked her a question. It's, it's a lot of the times a lot of her TikToks are like people asking for recommendations, and so this was one of them. So I've never heard of this. Yeah, can you tell that like all these pictures? I like immediately forget about them after I take the screenshot. <laughs> but this cover looks freaking hot, okay? It's a bodyguard romance. <gasps> um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the tagline said, good girls are saved by princes. My savior is a monster. I'm so excited. Okay, it's gonna go on my Kindle Unlimited shelf and my, I think I have a bodyguard shelf. Yes, I do have a bodyguard shelf. Okay, next is, okay, just the title of the book. From the Frail Shifter series, start with Rejected Mate. I wish I like also took a picture of like why I took the screenshot because the comment is covering it. Let me look this up and then I'll read the summary. Ooh, it's reverse harem. I don't like reverse harem, y'all. I prefer Polly to reverse harem. Three years ago, a darkly handsome stranger stole my heart. After one night together, I was certain I found my fated mate until he rejected me and then disappeared like a shadow. I never told anyone about that night. I shoved the shattered pieces of my soul into a locked box and pretended I never met Kian. But when a witch whispers a dire warning in my ear one day, everything changes because I don't just have one mate, I have three. Feral shifters, she calls them. Wild, untamed, and fueled by darkness, created by magic no one has ever seen before. I'm gonna add it to my list just cause, but um, I am not a reverse harem fan but it's okay it's okay if i'm ever in the mood for one i will use this i'm gonna put in rejected mates because that sounds like a rejected mate romance so next is reckless love by nicole green okay again i wish i would have taken a screenshot before that to the thing that like gripped me at first. Y'all, this is a student teacher romance. McKay, you need to, <laughs> to look this up, it looks like. I used to think hating a teacher would be the worst kind of problem, but I was wrong. Falling in love with him is so much worse. So it's a very forbidden romance. I'm gonna add it to just my regular contemporary shelf. Sleet Kitten by SJ Tilly. Okay, people in the comments are saying this is on Wattpad or it's like books on Wattpad, which have been very hard for me, so. The cover, <laughs> the cover, man. There are a few things that life doesn't prepare you for, like what to do when a super hot guy catches you sneaking around his basement, or what to do when a mysterious package shows up with tickets to a hockey game because apparently he's a professional athlete, or how to handle it when you get to the game and realize he's freaking famous since half of the 20,000 people in the stands are wearing his jersey. I thought I was well adjusted, reasonably prepared for life, but one date with Jackson Wilder, a viral video, and I didn't know she was your mom incident, and I'm suddenly questioning everything I thought I knew. I'll just put it in my general KU uh, section, but um, I've never heard about this. <laughs> this cover, man, really turns me off, not gonna lie. Okay, so I've been seeing these on Instagram too, this series, so. Let me look it up. First one is Love Light Farms. This looks like a Christmassy romance. Love Light Farms is a romantic comedy featuring a handsome, freckled data analyst, a messy, optimistic Christmas tree farm owner, and a small town with the best hazelnut lattes on the East Coast. This sweet and steamy romance is a holiday happily ever after. <gasps> that sounds so cute. Okay. I'm adding that. Jessa, okay, she has great monster romance recs. I take a lot of screenshots from her. So I'm already introduced to that series. This one I've never heard about before. An FF succubus, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna add it to my monster romance list because it's like 51 pages, why not? Okay, the next one, Darian, MMM alien, okay. Thank you for putting the little trope things in there, Jessa. <laughs> it's an Omegaverse mpreg romance. I haven't read an Omegaverse in quite a long time. It's only 66 pages. Oh my goodness. I love how she gives short recs because that's totally my vibe. Okay, so I've read, I've, I've been introduced to that one already. This is an MM Demon, Taking the Knot. Okay, I'm just gonna add it to my monster shelf. And last one, Desires for, is it called Desires for a Monster? It's an MM Demon romance. Desires for a mon, is it a man or mo monster? Desires. 
of a monster. Gonna be adding that one to the shelf too. Thank you so much, Jessa. <laughs> she keeps great alien and monster romance wrecks um, on her TikTok and her Instagram. Oh, and this is another one from her. <laughs> this one's called Tyro. It's book three in a series. Um, I'll look into it because it's an alien book three in the Ad Alien Adoption Agency. And aliens and adoption with babies? Yes, okay. Putting it in my alien romance shelf. Oh, we have Maya. I love her Rex. Oh my goodness. Okay. So what is this? Well, he likes to chase. Okay. This is like the primal kink stuff. Okay. So, ooh. Okay. That looks scary, but good. Looks like a monster. That cover is good. Point of No Return by Devin Sinclair. I've never heard about this book. What is this? My name is Christine Daniels. <gasps> is this... A Phantom of the Opera retelling. My name is Christine Daniels and I'm going mad. It was supposed to be simple. One month, one opera, one chance to make my entire career, but now I'm going crazy. I was only here to sing, but nothing in Paris is what it seems. The old opera house feels very, very much alive. Voices echo through the walls, gargoyles come to life, and I'm dragged to a whole new world I never knew existed. A world of monsters. This is a steamy, fast burn, standalone monster reverse harem with knots, wings, claws, tails, and three possessive gargoyles. Okay, I might make the exception for my reverse harem because that sounds good. And it looks like a, a Phantom of the Opera retail. I have to tell Samantha about this. <laughs> okay, let's look at the other books on her list. Um, Thieves and Monsters, another Cleo Evans book. Okay, so it looks like she collaborated with someone else though. Three Faded Mates Mafia series interesting i'll just add it to my ku shelf next i read muscles and monsters loved it oh i can't read this one rabid <laughs> i think this is rabid there we go i by raven kennedy okay looks paranormally um it's number eight in the series though i'll go see if it's a standalone later i'm gonna add a paranormal shelf to my amazon because i don't have one of those. Okay, another Cleo Evans book, The Dark One. I've heard about that one already. Haunting Adeline, heard about that one. And The Four Leaf, Caged Wolf. I've not heard about that one. First book in a series. Oh, it's 600 pages. A dark fantasy romance from Wall Street Journal and Amazon number one, best-selling author of Zodiac Academy. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'll add it to my list. I'll add it to my list. It looks like a paranormal romance. It says, what would you do when the guy you've loved since you were 14 is sent to the most dangerous prison in Solaria for saving your life? Okay, I'll add it to my paranormal shelf, um, but I will say like Zodiac Academy has zero appeal to me, so. Okay, next, I've seen this one everywhere. I've seen this one. I know Jessa talks about this one. I've seen it on her Instagram. So I'm definitely adding this one to my monster roommate shelf because like look at that cover are you joking it is quite long but it's on ku so i'll take it oh this is one of the screenshots i took off of a post on instagram for disability rep this is in a male male trans hero with juice rep latinx main character and partial blindness okay so i'll go add this to my disability shelf. Here's Jess, hey girl. Okay, so I saw her talk about this one and I was very interested. I don't remember what it's about though. This is the first book in a series. There were several things Vera was quite skilled at. Wielding a blade and pretending to be human were two of them. Following the rules and controlling her anger were not. Raised in the heart of the Mathrian Empire, Vera spent most of her life forced to hide what she was and what she could do until one day she foolishly confronts a strange male she spies tailing the crown prince. Not only does this altercation not go as planned, but the male claims she possesses a power his people vitally need. He's desperate to return home and refuses to leave without her. Staying would give her life she never thought she'd have, but leaving could provide her with the only chance to learn more about her past. Fantasy romance. I know Jess loves fantasy romance, and so we're gonna add it to my fantasy romance shelf. And like, I trust her Rex too, because she really loves a lot of good ones. Okay, this is one Crystal loved. This is The Longing of Lone Wolves. Um, I have to look up if this is paranormal or fantasy. I think it's fantasy because it says fae, but Crystal loves this one. And so I just needed to put this one on my fantasy on my shelf. Okay, so I found this on one of my many author newsletters. I don't know what's up. This is Heart of a Kraken 
I've never heard of this, but I'll go add it to my monster romance shelf. Okay, I don't know whose screenshot this is. Tell me if, if this is yours. I don't remember. The name does not popping up. This is The Girl in the Love Song by Emma Scott. I love Emma Scott, so um, I will definitely add this to my TBR. Oh, it's in the Audible Plus catalog. I just canceled my Audible membership. Ah, sad, but I'll add it to my KU anyway, if it's on KU, because I love Emma Scott. I have a bunch of her books a few, not a bunch, three of her books up there. Um, but yes, it's on KU. Okay, I'll add it to that shelf. This one is Walking Red Flag. And when you run into him weeks later, he asks about it and you tell him you can't, oh, because you're broken. That's the only thing I have going for me. What does that mean? I mean, the, the title Walking Red Flag doesn't, <laughs> it sounds kind of toxic to me. Um, but the cover is cutesy. Oh, okay. So he's a doctor and um, she goes to the emergency room where he is. But that's how they meet. And um, she breaks her wrist because of it. And then like under anesthesia, she like admits that she's never, you know, done that. Um, and then he helps her learn about her own body and helps teach her stuff. So, and it says that it's steamy. This is by the cover, so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do one more. This is my last one. This video is kind of getting long. So um, if you want a part two for this, let me know down below. But this is Christy. <laughs> hey, Christy. Um, I'll link her channel down below, but she recommended this book. So I'm wondering what it's about and why I took a screenshot of it. I think this is the swimmer one. Was it the swimmer one she was talking about? I think she was talking about a swimmer one. Yes, he's a professional swimmer. And then a son he never knew about lands on his doorstep. And he falls in love. I understand why I took a screenshot. Thank you, Christy. I'm so for it. But it is book two in a series. I'll go read book one before this one. Okay, so there you have it. Those were adding some books to my TBR. I do this like for fun. Like I have like so many books that I do this for. Um, so like once a month I'll go, or every couple months, I'll go and um, do this while uh, watching a movie or doing something like this is fun to me. <laughs> so like looking up books and adding books to my TBR is really fun to me. So um, let me know if you would like a part two to this video. But yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you want to or if you recommend any of them to me. Um, and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a phone emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.